Using zeros to find polynomials. In this particular instance, we're trying to find the polynomial functions. Example 1. Let the zeros be 7 and 9, which we express as x equals 7 or 9. So start by writing two separate equations, x equals 7 or x equals 9. We're going to use the zero product property, but going backward. So I need to turn that 7 into a 0 and the 9 into a 0. Well, to get rid of positive numbers, we subtract. So on both equations, subtract the value from each side, which will give us x minus 7 is equal to 0, or x minus 9 is equal to 0. Well, we're going to take those two binomials, and we're going to multiply them. Now, you may have learned this as FOIL, or you may have used the area model, which looks like a Punnett square, or you might even stack the binomials. In any case, you need to do the multiplication problem, x minus 7 multiplied by x minus 9 set equal to 0. Your simplified trinomial is x squared minus 16x plus 63 equals 0, but that is an equation. I'd like a function today. Well, all we do is we change our notation, and now we're going to write it as f of x is equal to x squared minus 16x plus 63, and that notation is function notation. Let's try another one. Example 2. This time let's let the zeros be 0, negative 3, and 4. Again, I express that as x equals 0, negative 3, or 4. Set up each of those individual equations. x equals 0 is already solved, but to get rid of a negative 3, I will add 3, and to get rid of a positive 4, we will subtract 4. So now we have the three equations, x equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0. I'm going to take the three pieces that are on the left-hand side of the equal sign and create a multiplication problem. Looks like this. The monomial x multiplied by the binomial x plus 3 multiplied by the binomial x minus 4 equals 0. My own personal experience is that you're safer if you multiply the two binomials first and then distribute the x. You'll be less likely to accidentally distribute the x through both binomials. So foiling, we get x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. You bring down that common x and distribute it. So as an equation, we get x cubed minus x squared minus 12x equals 0. And as a function, f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 12x.